It's an honor for me to share some stories about our nursing legend, Dr. Margaret Elder Hart. Peggy was born on June the 11th, 1907 in Winnipeg. She graduated from the Winnipeg General Hospital School of Nursing in 1930. Like many other young nurses of that era, Dr. Hart was diagnosed with tuberculosis at the time of her graduation. So she was only able to begin work as a private duty nurse in 1935. In 1936, Dr. Hart was employed as a private duty nurse for Dr. David Stewart and his wife, Ida Kate Bradshaw Stewart. Dr. Hart had become acquainted with them while she was a patient at the TB Sanatorium in Nynette. While caring for the couple, Dr. Hart met David's sister, Isabel Maitland Stewart, who was then the chair of the Department of Nursing at Teachers College, Columbia University. Isabel, also a Winnipeg General grad, 1902, urged Dr. Hart to enroll in Teachers College. In 1937, Dr. Hart began her studies at Teachers College, graduating with a Bachelor of Science in 1940. While an undergraduate student, Dr. Hart also worked as a companion for Mary Adelaide Nutting, the founding chair of the nursing education program at Columbia University. I find her connection with the two earliest leaders of nursing education uh, in the world really quite fascinating because she know, knew both of them quite well. Peggy also worked as a public health nurse with the Brooklyn Visiting Nurses Association during that time. Dr. Hart subsequently went on to earn an MA in 1946 and a PhD in 1962 from Columbia University, becoming one of the first Canadian nurses to complete doctoral studies. In 1940, Dr. Hart was appointed Educational Consultant for Public Health Nursing for the Manitoba Department of Health and Social Welfare. Prior to her appointment, a patchwork system of in-services had attempted to respond to the nurses' educational needs. By 1938, the Manitoba Association of Registered Nurses had provided the University of Manitoba with funding to offer su summer courses leading to certificates in public health nursing and teaching and supervision. Dr. Hart collaborated with the university organizing clinical practice for her students, recruiting public health nurses to serve as their preceptors, and participating in classroom teaching. In 1948, Dr. Margaret Elder Hart was appointed director and professor of the School of Nursing at the University of Manitoba, a position she held for 24 years until her retirement in 1972. With her leadership, the school launched its baccalaureate program for registered nurses in 1962 with Dr. Hart overseeing its development as the director of the first nursing baccalaureate program at the university. Firmly believing in the importance of graduate education, she championed the development of the proposal for the school's first master's in nursing program during the 1960s. Dr. Hart was a pivotal figure in nursing education across the country, serving as a charter member of the Canadian Association of University Schools of Nursing and as a founding member of the National League for Nursing. Dr. Hart's accomplishments and contributions were widely recognized through her fellowships with the American Public Health Association and the Royal Society of Health, as well as her receipt of the Canada Centennial Medal. Dr. Hart's unwavering commitment and dedication to nursing education and the faculty remained steadfast throughout her entire life. Dr. Hart took over the leadership of our current College of Nursing at a time when its future was uncertain. It wasn't until 1952 that the provincial government allocated permanent funding to the nursing program. And finally, in 1999, the Faculty of Nursing established a permanent home on campus at its current location, the Helen Glass Centre for Nursing. Her quiet determination, her unwillingness to accept no as the final answer, and her unswerving conviction that the hallmarks of a registered nurse theoretical knowledge and skilled judgment enabled nursing education to gain a secure place at the University of Manitoba. She led with determination and conviction. She was committed to the principles of equity, diversity and inclusion long before they were popular as they are today. As a nurse leader, she believed in social justice and if there was a situation where a nurse was not being treated fairly, 
Dr. Hart advocated in defense of the nurse, whether it was a faculty member, student, or a member of the nursing community. In 1982, she was named Professor Emerita at the University of Manitoba. The Margaret Elder Hart Distinguished Lecture Series was established in the Faculty of Nursing in 1991, and the Dr. Margaret Elder Heritage Room at the College of Nursing was named in her honor. She remained in her childhood home until 92 years old, and then moved to Ottawa, Ontario, where she died peacefully in her sleep at 100 years of age.